Hey there, and welcome back to Bite Size Booksmith. My name is Angie, and on this channel, we discuss the intersection of AI assisted writing tools and creativity. So, today I want to briefly touch on the newest model in the Anthropic lineup, which is Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And then we're going to go over to Novel Crafter, and we are going to look at how to add this new model to our already existing prompts and look at a couple other changes that have happened uh, in the prompt library. So Cloud 3.5 Sonnet was launched today. We actually already have access to it inside of Novel Crafter. Also, if you use Anthropics Chat, 3.5 is what we're using in chat there as well. I think we will test it out and do some writing in a, a future video. I don't think we talk about the prompt library enough here in Alva Crafter, and there's quite a bit that uh, goes into your prompts and organizing them and keeping them updated. You will notice now there was an update done this afternoon. If you come in here to your general purpose prompts, you'll actually see that Claude 3.5 Sonnet is now available. This is actually the second time I have recorded this video. The first time I did it, I used the wrong mic. So <laughs> I've already actually got the 3.5 Sonnet in these other prompts. But let's come down here and we will go under general purpose. Let me show you how to add 3.5 Sonnet to your other chat prompts. So let's come over here. We're going to hit this copy settings to clipboard and Okay, I haven't added it to this one yet, so I'm actually going to come down here and hit Add from Clipboard. Uh, when I hit Add from Clipboard, it actually adds it to the bottom. I'm going to drag it up here under GPT-4.0. I like to put the models that I use the most near the top, so I don't have to go looking for them. Then I'll come down here to the next one, Blurb Copywriter. I'll add from Clipboard, and then I'll uh, put it up here. You can even do this to your heart's content. Oh, actually, yeah, I'd already put that one in there. So all you have to do, if you have a duplicate, is hit delete settings. And we'll just do one more. Add from clipboard. Okay. Oh, I feel like I need to do one more. There we go. Okay. So here we are again. And I wanted to address this weird name I have here for these prompts. And I'll start here. I want to say maybe two to three weeks ago, we received an update that allows us to organize our prompts, for our either our seed meet completion or our workshop chat prompts. And I decided to organize mine by name. So the ones that I've created, I actually put in a folder. And I'll show you how these look in the system here in a few minutes, but just pretend that this is a folder right here. So the folder that I have for my prompts is called BSB or Bite Size Booksmith. And then after this forward slash, I've got the name of the actual prompt. So I did this again for Blurb Copywriter. So I've got BSB and then Blurb Copywriter. And then for the developmental editors, because I have a number of them, I actually added a second folder. So within the BSB folder, I have a second folder called dev editor. And then within that dev editor folder, then I have dark romance and then all the rest of my developmental editor prompts. So let's go over and we will look and see what this looks like actually inside a book. And we'll pop open Haven here and we will go to write first and we'll come up here. And so this is generating prose. So we can see the general purpose prompt here. We can see the NSFW general prompt here. And then I actually had two short story prompts. So in this short story folder, I've got either by act or I've got by chapter. So if you watched the video where we talked about how to set up your prompts for doing short stories, these were the two different ways to do it, either by act or by chapter. Okay. 
So let's go over to the chats and I will come up here and we will see. Now we have that folder I was talking about BSB. So here's the BSB folder inside of the folder. We've got active scene beat from summary. We've got blurb copywriter and it's spazzing out a little bit on me. And then we also have that dev editor folder right here. So then inside of the dev editor folder, we have dark romance, erotic uh, science fiction romance, erotica, our pulp noir, it's opera, romance, and thriller. I'll be adding more, but that's what we have right now. So all I would have to do is grab one of these developmental editors and start having a conversation. I will say that to get all of my prompts organized was a bit of a pain. And it took, because I hadn't updated them in a little while, it took me probably about an hour to go at, back in and update all of my prompts. Not just adding the 3.5, but adding 4.0 and a couple of the other ones that, because I had created these prompts quite a while back. If you are interested in getting access to all of my latest prompts, you can come up here and check out the Bite Size AI Toolbox. So I launched this, I think it was last week, and it just has uh, a lot of my prompts. Uh, it's got my GPTs in it, my personas for doing custom instructions. And if you come down here to scene beat completion prompts, and then there's also the workshop chat prompts, as well as anything that I do that's experimental, I will also be adding into here as well frameworks and some of my other more popular documents and tools and a couple other resources. If you are interested in getting access to this, I will put the link in the video description. There is a free plan. There's also a couple other plans as well that give you additional perks. And I really hope to see you in the AI toolbox. So if you guys have any more questions about prompts or about how to add new prompt, how to share a prompt, or even how to add you know new models to your prompts, please go ahead and add them in the video description below and I will take a look at them. You guys have an amazing day. Happy writing and I'll talk to you again soon.